Elijah, you're about to hit the midway mark of the regular season. How is uh, how is your body holding up given that I think you and DeAndre are both averaging about 10 carries a game. Is that, I mean, you're not getting that 28 carry game or anything. So how's kind of the, is that beneficial for you guys as far as keeping your bodies healthy? Yeah, I feel pretty good. I'm uh, feeling pretty healthy. A little sore today, but uh, I'll work through it. Uh, get some ice on me and I'll be good for Saturday. Do you think you will, uh, any of y'all could be ready for a 25 carry game if, if need be one of these Saturdays? Oh, yes, sir. We're all, we're all very capable. We're all very much in shape and uh, our bodies are ready for that. Coach Smart was talking after the game about how hard it is just to grind teams down. It's not like just going out there and running over them for seven, eight yards. Can you tell when a team's wearing down and when your offensive line's starting to take its toll? Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it because you can kind of see when we switch, it's still like the, uh, like, Every play is like you can see the line of scrimmage move, and then that's where you can kind of tell they're starting to, they're starting to break down a little bit. But uh, yeah, SEC teams are tough, and everyone is, so uh, it takes a while, you know what I'm saying? How much of an emphasis has uh, pass protection been with you guys as an offense and as running backs in particular? Well, yeah, it was, it was a big emphasis. Everybody knew, well, our coaches and everybody on our team knew we can all run the ball. The, the question was they never seen us pass protect. So uh, this year we've been asked to pass protect a lot, and, you know, it's something that we're all trying to improve on every week, and I feel like we've done a pretty good job so far. You, you've had one big pickup in that game, right? It, it, yeah. it, uh, tell me, what uh, have you improved particularly in that area, and is yeah, is it a result of emphasis? Yes, sir. Uh, you, you know, our linebackers, we're not allowed to cut in practice, so we take everything head on. So uh, a lot of that stuff has got us ready from our linebackers, so I give a lot of credit to them for that, how we practice, how we have been doing so well in the game. Elijah, you had that one game where I guess you, you told us after the game that they told you at halftime you already had 100 yards and kind of what the 100-yard game means to a running back. But you're also averaging seven a carry. I mean, I, Nick and Sony had a lot of games where they averaged seven a carry. How nice is it to... You know, do you ever focus on your average per carry and look at it and go, wow, that's pretty sweet? Uh, you know, I try not to. I try to just keep my head down and work. But when I look up, I, I like to be I like to be averaging a good amount per carry. I definitely try to. Now that Nick and Sony are gone, now that you have a more prominent role, just how much fun are you having just knowing that you show up every day to take on a bigger load? Uh, you know, it's real fun showing up every day and just knowing that you're kind of one of the future backs here in Georgia. Uh, it's a dream come true. But, you know, I try to just keep my head down and keep working. Elijah, what kind of energy does Justin Fields bring to the offense when he comes in and plays? Uh, it's, it's really exciting. He, he opens up a different dynamic for the team uh, with him being able to run the ball so well. So it's really exciting to watch him come in. Does it open things up for you guys as well to a certain extent? Have you noticed that? Have you been in with Justin enough to notice any effect there? Uh, you know, I can't. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to say for my sake. Like, it opens up something specifically for me, but I feel like as an offense, it opens up a little bit more. It's a different, it's something different that the defense has to adjust to. So I'm sure they would like playing, playing Jake and then uh, Justin coming. I'm sure the defense has to be like, oh, geez. So. Do you think you can keep up with uh, you and DeAndre in terms of rushing touchdowns? Pardon? Can you keep up with you and DeAndre in terms of number? Can he? Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, he, he he can. He scores touchdowns, and a lot of times it's one one guy able to one guy out there from the tackle, and they're not gonna make that tackle. People on the outside look at Vanderbilt and see the name and maybe don't put them in the same category with some of the SEC teams, but you've gone against those Derrick Mason defenses. Can you yeah. talk about Vanderbilt defense? Uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was a freshman when they came in here and beat us, so we, uh, we, we have not forgot that. You know, uh, Vanderbilt's always a very strong competitor, and they always play really, really physical, good defense. In the right side of the line this past week, Elijah had played at right guards. Kendall got some time at right tackle. Did you, did you notice the difference in the run blocking and how did you think it was on that run? Uh, you know, I feel like Kay stepped in and didn't miss a beat. Uh, he's been it probably helped him that he played the last couple games to get some experience. So uh, I thought he did really well. Uh, did you were you guys aware that Herschel was at the game Saturday? I know y'all were in the locker room. He was being recognized. Yeah, we we saw him at the dog walk, and you know we, I got to shake his hand and say hello. So uh, that was real cool getting to meet him, one of the greats of all time. So it was uh, just a really a pleasure. Who's the bigger star, Rick Flair or Herschel Walker? It's close. Rick Flair. Rick Flair's a little bit more turned up than Herschel was uh, Saturday. Though. <laughs> what do you think the key is for this offense to get off to better starts? The last couple of games have been kind of slow starts. I think we just got to do a better job at executing when we first come out. Uh, a lot of stuff is not. It's not the stuff that the defense is doing to us. It's the stuff that we're doing to ourselves. So we're just trying to work on that. And uh, this this week in practice, we put an emphasis on starting fast, and I'm sure we will this next week. Mm -hmm. All things considered, though, happy with your first five games? 
Yes, sir. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the first five games. Uh, I look to obviously do better the next five, uh, just trying to improve every week. Can you tell how you're better now compared to Austin Peay? Uh, I would say I'm, I'm probably a lot more confident in myself, uh, a lot more experienced. I kind of uh, it's, it's kind of moving a lot slower. You know, Austin Peay, my first game, I was, everything was flying by. Uh, too, too, I was doing too much sometimes, forgetting stuff. Uh, but now I'm a little bit more laid back and able to like see it a little, a little easier. The uh, kind of rotating tailback stat freshman was happening. Yeah, I think I think I think it'll pay off in the long run when we're still fresh at the end of the season. Some other people that get a lot of carries might not be as fresh. Well, even in games, like, did you notice that? Like, oh yeah, well yeah yeah yeah. By, by all means, I'm, I mean I'm always like you know I always feel really good the whole game. I'm never really it's never really a point in the game where I'm like dog tired. You know so I think that I think that is because we've seen something like that. Well, as you mentioned, the Vanderbilt game a couple of years ago, uh, I think you guys lost maybe three times at home that season. Um, not any since then, I think 2016. You guys don't lose many places anywhere, but is there much of a home field Sanford advantage in terms of? Oh, yes, sir. Our fans, I feel like our fans are the best in the nation, and uh, we, we, we take pride we take pride in not losing at home. So, uh, you know, that, that game two years ago, stuck, the guys who were here, it, it, it hurt us. So, you know, uh, we're looking forward to, you know, to defending our home. Is there a clear difference, though, for you guys as a noon kickoff as opposed to a nighttime kickoff? Oh, yeah, we're very excited about the night game. You know, we'll uh, have a little bit more extra time uh, to kind of chill out. But uh, it's a first night game, and I'm excited about it. Uh, how that game stuck with you? Have you guys kind of been talking about that this week, like reflecting on it? Yes, sir. You know, we all, I mean, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry. Um, we have, we've all thought about it a lot, you know. Uh, I think it sits with people who are here a lot because that, that game, that game was one of the games that we were really, really cut, cut us deep. Um, in terms of the quarterback situation, I mean, how do you, you know, so is it similar at all in terms of the running back rotation, you know, like how, how you guys are able to get a, a workload and get a different workload and show the different things y'all can do? Is it kind of similar with the quarterback in terms of a big problem? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think they, when they both get in, they both showed they're really good at, it, and I think that I think that helps us, you know, because they both have uh, different skill sets, but they both help our team, so it, it, it all works out. And how do you feel like that might have an effect on an opposing a game there? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't imagine having to prepare for both of those guys, so uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm glad it's not my job, and uh, as long as they keep doing a good job, it's going to keep feeling bad for the defense. <coughs> we did run it back when we're just had a problem on the exchange on the handoff. I'm trying to remember that was. No, I wasn't in that game. I think I think that might have been Brian. Okay. Yeah, I think that might have been Brian. I'm not sure. I think it's a matter of the, the true freshman kind of getting snaps and learning on the job. Uh, yeah, I think we were, we were trying something a little different, trying to do that play out of the pistol. And I, it's just uh, just a bad – somebody, I don't know which one I turned the wrong way. Are there subtle differences in, in, the, in the handoff? I mean, they're guys with a little different stature in terms of plays and um, – most of the time, it's pretty fine. The, most of the handouts come pretty much the same. I, you know, I really don't pay attention to it. Right. It just ends up in, the, right. in there. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask you about uh, Andrew. And he has come back from the injury, played his first full game uh, Saturday. I mean, uh, I know that you had said that you don't really pay attention to the offensive linemen going in and out. But um, how does it help you all to happen? Andrew, yeah, Andrew's a big time player. You know, uh, you can feel his presence when he is in and out. Um, so uh, I'm glad he's finally back healthy, and I'm ho hoping stays healthy the rest of the season for sure. Thank you.